Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD video game update. Now for this update, I just want to say a very special thank you to my mom because she's actually the one that bought most of these movies and thank you very much to my brother because he's the one that actually bought the video game since he and I actually share the Xbox One console together. But now let's go ahead and start off with the only movie I actually did buy for this update and that is Inside Out. This movie is great. Now granted I don't think it's a masterpiece because if you guys watched my review for this movie I did have a few flaws with Inside Out but nonetheless I'm really happy that this is a great movie it's just so original so creative and just so beautiful and in the third act really the movie starts to get into the more emotional core which I really liked. You know the voice talents in this movie were just fantastic. It's just a great movie to watch. It's a really great movie to show to your kids to kind of show them how to deal with their own emotions and that's why I love that Pixar actually did such a brilliant movie like Inside Out because you know it's a movie that you can relate to but it's something that the kids can learn from from when they're growing up this movie really is great to watch another home run from Pixar just such a fabulous job and then it even has a new short called Riley's first date in which I'm really looking forward to watching that short I've been looking forward to that short for a while I love this slipcover too the slipcover is really nice oh yeah and I did buy this movie for $22.99 so surprisingly for this being the first week it wasn't the usual like 1999 but oh well it's inside out it's worth the 22.99 price in my opinion here's how the movie looks with just the blu-ray then of course there's the back side sorry if the lighting's horrible you guys I know it's really hard to fix the lighting with my video sometimes and yeah that's really all I have to show you for Inside Out um, I might do an unboxing for this for Universe of Blue Tubers so if you aren't subscribed to Universe of Blue Tubers I highly recommend it because it's a really great channel so here is Inside Out the only movie I did buy at Target while the rest my mom actually bought and the next movie is you have no strings on me. That's right. I finally freaking got Avengers Age of Ultron. I love the movie. It's so great. Is this not as good as the original? Yeah, it's the original is better, but this is still a damn good fucking movie. This movie is still awesome. And to be honest, it didn't have to be as good as the original. I just wanted a really good movie. That's what I got out of Avengers Age of Ultron. It was still fun. I still love seeing the characters. I still had a blast with the action sequences. Ultron, I actually think, is a great villain. I know he's been very controversial with a lot of people, but I personally think Ultron is awesome. He's by far in the top three best Marvel Cinematic Universe villains in my opinion because a lot of the Marvel villains in this universe haven't been that great. So Ultron is by far one of the most memorable ones because there's personality to him. He was very charismatic. He was threatening when he needed to be, but he was also very funny when he needed to be. And that could be a distraction to me, but how this movie did it, it was balanced so well. Joss Whedon did a really great job. I know he was tired. And seriously, to the people that actually sent him death threats because they weren't happy with the Avengers Age of Ultron, really? Just because you're not happy with the movie, you send the director death threats, just, I could not tolerate that. I was actually really pissed off when I read about that. But Joss Whedon, don't beat yourself up, man. I know you're tired. I know you don't want to do the third movie. Um, and honestly, I think personally you deserve to stop from here because you need a break, man. You really do need a break. You worked really hard on this. Despite what people think of this movie, you really worked hard on this. So thank you so much, Joss Whedon. And of course, the cast j does such a great job. And it's a movie I wish I got to see again in the theater, but unfortunately I didn't have time to but I'm 
I'm looking forward to watching this movie again. This movie was awesome. If you don't like the movie, I respect your opinion. But me personally, it's a freaking awesome, great sequel. Oh yeah, and Vision in this movie, so freaking awesome. I actually forgot to mention him in my movie review, surprisingly. But yeah, I really loved Vision in Avengers Age of Ultron. Avengers Assemble! So the next movie is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated movies of 2015, and that is Tomorrowland. Now, Tomorrowland is a movie a lot of people had so much hype for. I'm one of those people. It just looked like it was going to be this wonderful, magical movie. However, once the movie came out, reviews seemed to be like people liked it, but... They felt like the third act was weak, or there were people that were just flat disappointed by it. Like they thought it was meh, or they thought the movie sucked. In my personal opinion, yeah, when I came into this movie, was I expecting this to be the next 4 out of 4 star movie? Yeah, of course I was. But you know what? Even if the movie isn't like 4 out of 4 star worthy, it's a good movie. And here's my thing with expectations, guys. Even though I go into a movie expecting to give it like 4 out of 4 stars or 3.5, as long as I come out of a movie at least liking it, so in other words, at least 3 out of 4 stars, I'm happy with the movie. Tomorrowland did not need to be a masterpiece for me to be happy. I'm happy with the movie for what it is. I mean, look at me. I'm holding the movie right in my hands. I actually enjoyed it that much. Sure, it's not perfect. Sure, you're not going to see me put this in my top 10 best films of the year 2015 video. And sure, yes, there's flaws. But you know what? I still really like this movie because even with the flaws it has, I was still intrigued by it. I was still captivated by the storytelling, how simple it was and how it was about the journey to Tomorrowland. Us as a society, we complain about what goes wrong in the world, but we don't really do anything to change it. And how the movie did that was so beautiful and so thought provoking. The performances were all really great. I love the fun, light tone to it. And I, I actually personally really liked the third act. So visually beautiful, cinematography was great. Brad Bird really did a great job directing this movie. He was the perfect guy to direct this movie. And, you know, he actually skipped on directing Star Wars The Force Awakens to direct this movie. And you know what? I can see why. Even if the movie didn't turn out the way it could have for, I would say, for pretty much a lot of people, you know, I respect that Brad Bird still followed his guts and made this movie. Tomorrowland is... Just one of those movies that has a nice sense of wonder and imagination. I'm so glad I own Tomorrowland. It's worth owning, in my opinion, and I'm just very happy I own it. So, very well done, Tomorrowland. Definitely a very underrated movie. And now the last movie I gotta show before I move on to the video games is Cinderella. Cinderella, I've seen this movie twice now. First time was in the theater with my family. Second time was at the Dollar Theater with my family that came to visit us during the summertime. And I love this movie the two times I've seen it. This movie is fantastic. It's really great. And it's really surprising to me too because I really did not have expectations when I walked into Cinderella. I came into the movie meh just because I felt like it was going to be the same old thing. and. You know what, it's the same old thing, but it extends the storyline. And I think how they extended the storyline to the movie was really clever. Lily James, not only is she beautiful, but she was a great Cinderella. I really felt like she was born to play this role. And Lily James is definitely an actress I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for in the future. Everyone else does great. You know Kate Blanchett, she was really great as the evil stepmother. The costume design for this movie. I normally don't comment on costume designs, but in Cinderella, it's so gorgeous. Like, it really took my breath away looking at the costume designs and the cinematography is just fantastic. Cinderella is a magical, wonderful, 
movie to watch. I've been wanting to own this movie for a while now. I know it came out on DVD and Blu-ray like what around September. So yeah, I've been wanting to get this for a while now. So thank you very much mom for buying Cinderella because this really is a great movie and yeah, I love the movie. And now guys, let's get to the video games. So the first video game I have to show you is a video game my brother and I have been very excited for. Halo 5 Guardians. I love the Halo games. I've been playing the Halo games since the day the first Halo came out. And ever since then, I just have a blast playing these games. So when I heard about Halo 5, my brother and I said that we needed to get this game. My brother actually did buy this game, so thank you very much, bro, because the Xbox One, he and I actually both shared together, thanks to a Christmas gift that my aunt gave both of us last year. So Halo 5 Guardians, I haven't been able to play this game yet, but... I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. Yeah, the visuals just look fantastic. The gameplays look like they will be so much fun. That's what I love about these games. They are just the definition of having so much fun, um, having me escape my reality when I play these games. You know, based on the backside, I think the game will exceed my expectations. This has been one of my most anticipated games of the year, and I'm so glad to actually be holding this game because Honestly, just looking at the cover, it looks awesome. Halo 5, Guardians. And now, the last video game to wrap up the DVD, Blu-ray, video game update, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I only like to play these Call of Duty games when it's just with other people. You know, whether it be my brother, or my friends, or even my brother's friends, you know, I, I only like to play these games with multiplayer because if it's by myself, I'm honestly bored as hell. I can't play these games by myself. I need to just play multiplayer. So I'm not the biggest fan of these games, but I do like to play them when it's with other people because at least when you're playing with other people, it's so much fun. It makes the adventure of these games that much more grander. And I know my brother does love to play these games though, so that's the other reason why he actually did buy this for our console, so we could play it together. So Call of Duty Black Ops 3, it does look interesting. Maybe I'll play some of it solo just to see how it is, but um, yeah, not really expecting much. Just one of those games where I kind of play, and that's really it. So that is indeed Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One. Same with Halo 5, Xbox One. Really cool to get these games, but of course out of these two, I'm definitely pumped to be playing this one. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Inside Out, Avengers Age of Ultron, Tomorrowland, Cinderella, and then Halo 5, and Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Thank you so much for watching this update, you guys. You are all very awesome. I really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed seeing the movies and video games here. And thanks once again to my mom for buying the movies. And thanks to my brother for buying the video games. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.